Hello out there, music collectors. Edward here, a.k.a. Prog Rock Tommy, back with uh, a vinyl, a box set CD set, and uh, just an update of some of the recent uh, things that I traded this week, or last weekend, excuse me, up to now. Uh, before I begin, I just want to wish everyone out there in the community, in the world, happy holidays to everyone. And uh, just a little bit of something before I begin showing what um, I picked up. Um, my mood uh, over the weekend was sort of a, I won't say depressing mood, but I was down. And um, one of the things that I want to share, this is not a pickup, but this is something that I have in my classical music section. And it lifted my spirit, put me in a better place. The music really uh, uh, spoke to me. And it, it's this album. It's uh, by, I, I'm not going to even try to say the gentleman's name, but it's uh, Chopin's music that um, he was uh, playing the piano to. It's real shiny. But... Um, this this album right here not only was it good but it really uh, put me in a better place along with uh i've been listening to a lot to um one of my favorite bands that put out this album yes big generator this is one of my favorite cds and i was really listening to this and um and I noticed that I, I didn't realize it, but how a lot of the songs have really good tempo changes with elements of all kinds of music. And I can't think of any right now, but I mean, to put those in into songs that are like five or six minutes, those little, they're like, to me, they're epic. And... This is a really good one. This came out right after their album, um, 90125. And um, I was going to see them, a little story about myself. I was going to see them on this tour. But circumstances have it where I had to give up my tickets, sell them, and uh, had to work. Couldn't find a replacement. But yes, these were the two things right here that just... Oh, put me, made me in a better, good mood. Okay, here, moving along. One of the things that I did trade for, and I was excited to finally get in uh, my Jeffro Toll collection, is the latest 40th anniversary of uh, Jeffro Toll's Stormwatch. Uh, if you're a Toll fan and can do it, I like to trade for these. I, I, I haven't bought any of these that... I have some in my other collection and maybe I might do a video where I show my Jeff Toll box sets that are like this. But this is a very good album. This is an album that I would say that when I first heard it, I liked it. I know some people with their catalog towards, I don't know what period would this would be like 80s, 90s. Some people uh, might not like it. Some, you know, whatever, whatever the comments are great but this is when this wasn't an album that i had to play over and over just to when i played it i just got it and i really enjoyed it a couple of things i want to mention about it this too is a what they says it's a, a associated recordings and just to hear some of these songs and like these really long pieces of music they're really good and what became of the original album, how they shorten all that. But it's like, man, that, you know, you're kind of like with me. I was kind of like, I like the longer version of that song or the demo or, you know, what, whatever you want to call it. One of the other things I like is the dish that said live in Den Haag, D-E-N-H-A-A-G 1980. My favorite thing to hear on here is a couple of things that I'll, I'll, go, I'll mention. Um, a tune called Hunting Girl and Thick as a Brick. 
sound really good this live to this live show but yeah I was uh, and from what I understand these go out of print pretty quick but like I said I, I like trading for these I'll give up some stuff for the for these toll box sets okay now here's some things that are common whatever you want to call them there's really I'm sure nothing new to everyone out there who collects music and uh, so you know these are just things that I enjoy I might have had a CD of it and decided you know what I'd like to get me a vinyl and I just lately as I'm getting older I play the waiting game and bang I have some success I used to be just like an impulse kind of thing where oh okay, I'll get it I get it I get it I'll get it but now I'm kind of watching my budget and taking my time and just waiting for a little bit before I, um, I go out and make a purchase and then I think about my trade you know I can live without records and I can live without CD so trading I get excited about because I know I'm, I'm looking forward to coming home with something and I can let what I call these uh, records I can let these orphans go to new homes so here's one of the things I trade for and they're in plastic so I might not take them out I might take out the show one but here's one that it's been an all-time favorite ever since I was I don't know before junior high but it's odds and sods the who I love this album one of my favorite songs on here is uh, now I'm a farmer and put the money down those are some good songs but yes and it's on track records slash MCA records now this other record that I've got is I love this album by the Moody Blues is Octave and here it is Octave it's gatefold I don't know if any many of us have ever seen the inside of this but I'll share kind of makes them look like they're coming from the past to the future I like that look but what's really neat about this it's like this light baby blue ocean looking blue vinyl on London Records and that's pretty cool and the next one that I have to show here I'll just sit that over here is kiss dress to kill I found me a cheap copy of it Casablanca records this to me is a uh, uh, one of my this is my favorite album of that period of kiss of uh, the first eight albums which includes alive and alive Two. those are to me those records are just my favorites now I'm not saying that the rest of the KISS catalog are bad those are good records as well too and they have good songs and I can see where people appreciate those and I do appreciate those I appreciate that they made an album like Creatures of the Night because that album blank blank rocks hard um, Dress to Kill I love it it's punchy it's power rock it's it's good stuff it, has a lot of songs that I'm surprised that you don't hear on the radio even to this day but it has songs on here that I'm like man now why didn't it put out a some more you know some singles or more some more airplay dress to kill is it's a good record in my opinion I here's a good example of waiting I have this CD remastered of this album and I found it for like about five bucks but I got George Harrison and I love this album gone am I saying it right gone truffle truffle this is one of my favorite George Harrison albums I don't know how well it was but personally I love it I love songs like wake up my love Grease and gone tropo um, baby don't run away circles this is George Harrison I'll go on record here is one of my favorite guitar players he inspired me to pick up the guitar I love his tone I love the way he plays slide I like his songwriting and I miss him he 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 is uh, just one of my favorite all-time musicians 
What else can you say? Now, this one is a 2019 stereo remix, and I haven't played it. I've heard people talk about it, but I had a good trade, and so I came home with the 2019 Space Oddity David Bowie, and like I said, I haven't played it. Maybe I might do a review on it. It might be real short, but then again, I think, ah, people can can go hear better reviews than mine. Whoops. Oh, and it does this that I thought was pretty cool. So it's that's neat. I like that. And the last thing that I get, like, uh, it's toll related. It's a remastered. It's the um, Stephen Wilson mix of the album. This was. This is uh, Jeff, Jeff Toll's first album. It's one of my favorite. It's one also that I have in this format as well as the uh, Deluxe Edition. And that has a lot of really cool gems to listen to. Well, everyone, uh, thanks again. I thought I'd make a short video before we approach this uh, Thanksgiving holiday. And I appreciate you all. Thanks for taking the time out to watch my corny videos. And everyone, be safe. And I'll talk to you or I'll see you or make another video soon. Take care.